Okay guys, uh, welcome to part 2 of this uh, Minecraft relaxing speedrun, I think. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I kind of, I had a thought uh, in between episodes, or in between recordings, and I thought to myself, hey, you know, what if, you know, I always see gameplays nowadays that are just really loud and, you know, fast paced, and it's kind of like, you know, every two seconds there's an explosion or something, you know. Uh, so I kind of thought, you know, what if, what if we just kind of relaxed a bit, you know? We just kind of relaxed and we didn't really do anything crazy like fighting a creeper ten seconds into the video and probably getting ourselves blown up in the process. Uh, but that's exactly what we're going to do here. And uh, if you would like to walk into this water for me, that would be nice. You forgot about me? I don't know how you forgot about me that fast, but alright. Alright, come over this way. This way. Come on. No, you're just gonna spin. That's alright. <laughs> okay, now he's nice. Now he's coming for me. No, he's gonna spin again. Okay. You coming? Just come over here for a second. Oh, damn. Okay. You know, this looks really cozy, actually. Let's kind of get a nice view, too. Hmm. Uh, I also did want to install Optifine because of the anti-aliasing that it offers. Uh, this just looks <laughs> awful, honestly. And I can't really do anything about it. Uh, because default Minecraft does not have any anti-aliasing for some reason. Um, also, just to reiterate, uh, the intention of this series is to kind of beat Minecraft pretty quickly. Uh, I think I kind of want to do it within five episodes, so I might just do it like that. And then if I want to keep playing Minecraft, then I'll kind of come back to it. I'll, I'll come back to this save and just kind of dick around, you know, uh, maybe build some things or do whatever. Uh, currently I'm kind of just spying to see if I can see a village anywhere close by. I also need to find some sheep because I need a bed. I don't even have a bed yet. I have a diamond pickaxe and I've gone to the nether and I still don't have a bed. And I'm pretty sure phantoms are going to start spawning because I haven't slept for two nights now. So, yeah, that's great. Uh, I'm just gonna go and hide <laughs> and hide for the night. Because there's really just not gonna be any sheep spawning for me. Alright, so it's daytime. Uh, I just looked up uh, some ways to get interpols, and it turns out that expert cleric tr villagers can trade you interpols, uh, which is great because it means I don't have to go hunting for endermen. And instead, I can just kind of peacefully trade with villagers until I get uh, what I need. So realistically speaking, uh, I need at least 12 ender pearls so that I can make 12 eyes of ender just to fill in the frame. But that's only if I can find the stronghold without any of my eyes of ender breaking along the way, which certainly some should. Uh, and then I'm going to need an ender pearl to leave the end. Uh, once I defeat the dragon. And I would like to leave the end and not have to fight a horde of endermen until I can uh, get get a pearl to leave. So. Hmm. 
Man, that is a full suit. Okay, cool. And I still have some left over. So I'll make a sword. Do I really not have any sticks? I have no sticks. That's fine. Um, actually, forget that. I'm going to make an axe. <laughs> because this does way more damage than... Uh, well, it doesn't really do more damage, but it's going to be faster to hit with the iron axe, so... I'll use that. And, uh... I really need to find a sheep. Like, that's... Absolutely critical right now, because... Uh, no... I didn't have any... Phantom spawning on me last night, which is good, uh, but I'm like 100% sure that there will be Phantom spawning tonight, and I absolutely have to find a sheep. Oh my god, <laughs> I nearly walked right into the exact same hole. <laughs> okay. The exact same hole as last time. How did I already forget about that? So far, no luck in finding the village. Um, I was really hopeful that there would be one kind of close by. Uh, but there's just nothing but mountain and jungle next to me. Well, this is proper forest. So there could be a village somewhere in there, but... Um, if you didn't know this, villages do not spawn in mountains, so... What is that in there? This... What the hell? Yeah, damn it, there's no village. Unless that's one right there. No, that's dirt. Also, pro gamer move, if uh, there's something out in the distance that you can't really see that well, just kind of turn until it's right on the edge of your screen, and it literally gets bigger, so you can kind of see what it is. You know, I'm looking at that birch tree right there. It's really small, and then it's really big. Small. Big. Small. Big. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, there's a sheep. <laughs> Now, if I had iron on me, I would totally make shears and clip you, but I don't. And I only need one anyway. And it's not like I'm going to keep you guys around to breed you anyway, so... May as well kill you for your meat. Alright, so I was unsuccessful in finding a village. So the new plan is to go into the nether and hopefully find a fortress in the nether so that I can set up a uh, a nice blaze farm just to get some experience as well as the blaze powder that I'm going to need to make the eyes of ender Alright, so I know I said I wouldn't really be doing anything like, uh, I don't know, building, I guess, but I kind of just uh, built some walls around this area to just kind of keep it a little bit more secure. Uh, pretty sure mobs can still drop down this path, but, you know, maybe they won't try to, <laughs> hopefully. Uh, just go ahead and make another bucket. They don't have any iron left. Okay. 
Let me get some iron. Is that really common now to happen? To just have silverfish spawning that much? Because that's the second time now that I've come across silverfish just mining. Alright, so we've got iron now. And uh, to be honest, I think this is going to be all the iron we'll ever need from now on. Uh, like, I don't even know what, I, what I'm going to do with this much iron, to be honest. Got some more wood, and I've already forgotten what I was going to use the wood to do. Oh yeah, I need another chest. Because this is getting a little small. Okay. Um, I gotta go find a village, and I need to start trading. That's like literally all I need to do. And I think the best course of action is once this iron finishes, I'm going to take with me the things that I really need, and just go wandering until I can find a village and whoops and uh, I know that strongholds would begin to spawn around uh, around uh, a thousand blocks out and they spawn in kind of like a ring so I'm just gonna pick a direction and just kind of walk off in that way to about a thousand blocks and hopefully by that point I'll have stumbled across a village and I'll just kind of live in that village and look for a stronghold. That's the plan. I just got three flints in a row. Um, that seems kind of rare to happen. Uh, while I'm editing this video, uh, I'm going to put up the probability of that happening three times in a row. Because <laughs> I think that's actually kind of low. Okay. Um, I've packed up all my stuff. I've taken the nether, my nether portal down. I am missing a block. Where am I? I mean, I only need ten, but... Whatever, right? I've got... Pretty much everything I need. Um, I don't. Really, you know, I don't really need the redstone, to be honest. I'm just gonna take off. <laughs> I'm gonna go back this direction uh, because that's the way I want to go. I keep taking screenshots by accident. I swear to God, I'm not trying to do that on purpose. Um, I've also kind of discovered something. If you just press numbers, uh, it'll flip things around, which is kind of interesting. Uh, yeah, it's kind of weird. Uh, I'm sure it's probably pretty good for like PvP, you know, for uh, epic gamer moments. But I don't really know how I could use that. But yeah, I'm just going to go wandering until I can find a village and sleeping along the way. I should be really careful when I go into the forest because mobs can spawn there. And I can hear a spider. That's spooky. What? What? Fuck. Okay. This isn't exactly what I was trying to do, uh, but I guess I can be a little more careful next time. Let's hope that it won't pop out the other side and end up in the cave. Okay. Cool.
so I'm an hour into the recording for this second episode now, and I've only just gotten out of the taiga forest, uh, and there's water. And if you'll notice, on the other side of the water, there is more fucking super taiga forest. Is that a village over there? That looks like a village. I think we I think we might be good boys. Or is that just No, that's totally wood. That's totally a village. Alright. We found the Okay. <laughs> we found a village. Alright, so luckily this does not appear to be a zombie village. Uh although I don't see any villagers yet. Oh, no, we got a few now. Okay. We're good. It'd also be nice if we could have a, uh, a cleric right off the bat, because that's going to be the guy that we want to get our ender pearls from. Ah, nice, they have an iron golem too. There's actually two bells here. Okay. That's a B. Okay, so I don't know how bees work in this game, and I'm kind of scared to go near it because I don't want to anger it. Is he actually playing on the bed? Oh my god! The villagers, the baby villagers jump on the beds. Are you serious right now? Oh my god, I did not know they did that. Well, I guess they do it now. Right now, I need to find any villagers to trade with. I'm, I'm, I would love to kill that guy because uh, he's what you call a uh, nitwit. There's actually two in this village. Unless you trade. No, you don't. So the guys with the green, uh, they pretty much have decided that they want to be a waste on their village and literally will never work. They will never take a job they will never do anything. They'll just stand around taking up the space of a villager uh, when you could kill them and free up room for another villager to spawn in who can actually work. Okay, it'd be nice if there's a lectern in here. There is. Uh, that's going to come with me. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, okay. That freaked me out pretty hard. How did you hit me on the corner like that? That is a spawner. So that's pretty cool, actually. And I mean that very seriously. I'm not being sarcastic at all. Uh, I'm going to kill that iron golem, actually. Because this village sucks. There's two bells. So far, I see two villagers. And they are both nitwits. <laughs> so they will never work. Even though there's uh, like three job blocks in this area for them to use. I'll just throw down this lectern right here in the middle. Yeah, first order business. Um, these villagers will breed. With food, of course. So first order business is going to be to get bread. Breed these villagers. And then kill them. And start this village over because it sucks. This village is actually really shit. Wow, I didn't know it was possible to have such a shit village. This guy's growing up all the way. Uh, would you two kindly breed? Would you please pick up that bread? Would you please pick up the bread? 
Thank you. <laughs> I need to trap these guys in their homes. That's what I really need to do. There's a ton of beds here. There's only two adult villagers, which I'm kind of lucky for that. At least I wasn't so unlucky that I got one adult villager. Because then that would actually make this village worthless. The on golem was nice. Hopefully he'll drop some uh, iron bars when I kill him. And maybe a poppy or two. Yeah. See, there's a job block here. He's not taking it. Uh, this guy refuses to have a job, too, which is weird. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fire aspect. Bookshelf. Wow, that's a lot of emeralds for you, actually. Wait, are you kidding me? Ugh. Damn, okay. I can't get emeralds from him. His, uh... His first two trades don't give you emeralds. They require emeralds. So yeah. Uh, this guy went and just got himself stuck in the well. That's fine. Because I'm gonna kill you anyway. Composter, that's what we're doing. Are you serious? Do I need to have enough to make it or something? Yeah, there it is. The composter still isn't showing up in my... That's really weird. Okay. to get close to it because I don't know if they come out to attack you if you, if you get too close. So I'm not even going to mess with that. I don't have a reason to. I can uh, mess with honey later on. Alright, I'm going to get some torches and go light up that skeleton spawner. I'm really eyeball on that golem. I'm, def I'm totally going to kill him at some point. Maybe. I don't know. I really want to kill him. Oh my god, they're getting themselves stuck in there now. Coal! Okay. Nice. Come here, man, I have your coal. Don't you fucking jump in there, bro. Come on, man, I have your coal. Get over here. Get over here. <laughs> Gosh. Alright. Damn. It sucks that he doesn't want to trade anything. Actually, I can reset him. So I'll reset him. Because I really need something good from that librarian. Like paper or something. Change your job, bro. There's a perfectly good composter over there. Why don't you go check that out? Why do you insist on standing here? Where are you wandering off to? Okay. I'm moving this bell. Clearly you guys want to stand next to that bell, so I'm going to move it over here. Alright, no more will. <laughs> so, for now, you're going to be a librarian again. Ah, paper. Perfect. That's also efficiency 3. I could actually get mending for this first one, actually. Um, let me double check that. I think I can get him to have mending on his first book trade. Impaling. Don't want that. Don't want that. Don't want that. Don't want that. Come on now. Don't want that. Nope. Nope. Would you please?
please just give me mending already. Unbreaking three. You know, that's actually kind of good. Uh, it costs 37 emeralds. Efficiency five. 64 emeralds. <laughs> My god. I really hope that this is, uh, other trade is going to be paper. Sharpness. I can always get a cartographer who will do paper for me. <sighs> I feel the same way, bro. Can you come back over here and forget your job? <laughs> why are you stand? Why do you insist on standing over there? Come on, come back here and forget your job, bro. Alright bro, you have no profession anymore. If you would just step outside and forget that you were ever a librarian, we could move on. We could move on if you would just forget that you are a librarian. Please. Okay, this is some major this is some major retardation going on here. Why are you still here? <laughs> Can you go away already? The Iron Golem is continuing to push them away. It's almost like he's trying to push them away. It's it's almost like he's actually trying his hardest to literally push this guy away. Alright, well, I think I'm going to leave this one here, you guys. Uh, I'm going to figure this librarian out, hopefully get mending, because that would be very nice to have on a diamond pickaxe. And I could probably enchant it with fortune later on as well. Uh, so yeah. Uh, just to remind you, uh, the next episode has already been uploaded, so it'll be on screen right now. Just go ahead and click that, and you can continue watching. See you in the next one.